It has been three years since Chrysalis was given an opportunity to build reforms, despite that at first he refused to even consider it. But after they, after Twilight gave Fluttershy the, the chance to reform Chrysalis, after all, since she did manage to reform the Discord for the very first time. And even though that, Fluttershy's work worked actually perfectly. Despite there were some difficulties at first, but Chrysalis managed to agree and she was reformed. And now she has been living with in a Twanis castle for the past three years though. Even though she works as at the Eastern School of Friendship as a teacher in magic and transformation spells, all the students actually love her teaching because she can transform to almost any creatures they wanted to know about. Then even she even sometimes even assists Fluttershy at her friend her school her classes of kindness and even about and how to treat and to learn about different animals. Because with Chrysalis' help, she must be able to transform to any animal that Fluttershy was talking about. So that was a great deal of help for both for, both for Fluttershy and to other students. Even at first, Fluttershy and the others were a bit nervous of how to allowing Chrysalis living, uh, living in, in Ponyville among other ponies. She was, they were a little bit scared, they were a little bit scared and worried that she would play and still love other creatures, other ponies. But she never did it, because she was actually willing to share some of the love with some of the ponies in town. And after a while, they started to like her. And she had became a very good friend to almost every pony in town. But despite this. Despite that she had a lot of friends in town, and that she had also managed to regain some, some friendship with the, with the exchange in kingdom of the king Forex. But despite that, sometimes in the evenings, Twilight can see that Crystalis are standing by her own, on her balcony at her own room at a castle, look up at the sky, and Somehow she's crying. She didn't want to be disturbing Chrysalis that night, but Chrysalis heard that Twilight was at the door. So she asked if she could come in and talk to her, or at least ask what was wrong. Despite that Chrysalis first didn't want to be talking much about this particular issue she had. But after slowly that, she opened up. She told Twilight that Despite that she has a lot of friends in town and across across the question, she was still feeling lonely. All her friends had some point to be with. Twilight with Flash and Rainbow with Soren and so many others. They, despite that, every pony had some point to be with. But Christmas, she didn't have any pony to be with. Even though Twilight was a bit nervous, she was a little bit worried about that, but she ensured Crystalis she would find some pony to be with. But Crystalis didn't even know how or where to find some pony to be with. So, Crystalis was later the next day, has been told by Rarity that she learned that there's going to be this new speed dating location in town, and, and from what she heard, that has been quite popularity both in Trottingham and in Manhattan. And that she learned had learned how this thing is working. So she suggested to, to Chrysalis, why not give that a see and a try to see if it can work? Even though Rarity at first has never been trying it herself since she was dating Spike. But she was willing to give it a try though. So when Chrysalis went to this location, she saw there was a lot of stallions and even some mares at, at this new speed dating. And after that, she learned how the, these things operated, how it works. So she went there to see herself. Despite that, she was matched with several stallions and even a couple of mares. But, but no one, no pony there was not her type of connection to. 
despite what some at least a couple of stallions that could have had potential, but after a while thinking, they were not so much as a match for her though. But even despite that's only one try, she decided to try it at least one more time. But not only until only a couple of days later, because she did want to want to wait at least a few days to see if it's how this things, how this this things have been been around for a little bit while. So at least on the on the a couple of days later on a Friday, Christmas went back to this to this speed dating and wanted to give it a second try, but unfortunately, it didn't find any opponent to be with. She started feeling devastated. She was not desperate to find some point to be with, she just, she felt lonely, and she felt almost more heartbroken than ever. And even Twilight and her friends was getting a little bit more worried about Chrysalis. But after though, Blind Shiny maybe suggested maybe that she can go see a show, a magical show with, by Trixie with her and Starlight. So, Chrysalis went with Blind Shiny and Starlight to see this performance by Trixie the next day, even despite that Christmas preferred one of the people go back to the castle. But even though she had seen Trixie before, but she never saw and seen her perform any magical show at, at, at any point. But when she saw this magical treatment, she was really memorized. She was amazed how well this Unicorn could perform some simple tricks, but still there were also things perform and as even Sermodian since like it was real. She has never seen as such performance of just one single unicorn. Even though despite that, she knows about Trixie, and they were kind of good friends, but they never had even spent any time much since Trixie is traveling a lot for her magical performance, sometimes with Starlight. But Starlight, she actually did notice something that now Trixie was performing at Christmas was amazed at seeing this. So she maybe thought this could maybe be some pony that she could be looking for. But she didn't want to be interacting to try to force Chrysalis into some dating relationship with Trixie. After all, Trixie wasn't even, see wasn't even seeing any pony right at the moment in herself. But despite that, Starlight wanted, wanted to help. Chrysalis and her best friend Trixie. So the next day, when Starlight went to see Trixie at her wagon, she asked Trixie if she had any plans for the future of seeing some pony at the moment. But Trixie laughed and said that she hasn't even considered to be dating some pony right now because considered of how much she travels. But then when Starlight suggests what if she would date Chrysalis? Trixie was a little bit surprised of that suggestion and asked if she was serious. But Trixie said, Stola said, Yes, I'm serious, Trixie. She's very lonely about herself. She's, she's actually being reformed of all. She's a friend of all of us. Do you give it, maybe to spend some time with her to see if there's any connection between you two? Who knows? Maybe the heirs, or maybe just good friends. Even despite knowing that Trixie wasn't really much up to her idea, but again, she, even though she fought only for a second, she gave a good sigh and said, Fine, Starlight, I will give it a try to see if we can be good friends with her, right? Is that good, good enough for you? And Starlight just nodded. The same next day, Starlight with Trixie went to the park where they saw Chrysalis by herself. As they walked up, Trixie was introducing herself and Dr. Chrysalis did the same, and then Starlight pretended that she had something to do back at the castle, so she had to leave, so that Trixie could stay behind, maybe spend some time with Chrysalis and maybe get to know her better. So, as the plan did, Starlight ran away, or at least walked away back to the castle. Even despite that at first, Chrysalis and Trixie didn't have much to talk about. Except for that, that they had some one thing in common they like to do, and that was magic. Apparently, despite that Crystalis was excellent in transformation, that she can shape shift to any creature, and even despite that, they actually was actually 
Something that Trixie was very impressed on. She wished that she could also do the same, but as long as she was able to perform magic to others and make them happier about if they had a bad day or something, that also worked for her. And even hearing that from Trix Trixie though, Crystal is starting to know something more about Trixie. She was actually very amazed how how admit that she really is open about her feelings and how much she is open about about herself, despite that she might be sometimes be a little bit how would she describe herself as selfish. But over the years, Trixie has started to learn more to be unselfish and has to help around in others. And that the fact it must have helped because of Trick Twilight in Starlight. And that was actually a lot of things with Starlight's positive uh, towards Tri Trixie, though. But there was something about Trixie that Crystal is wanted about to know more about. How long she has been able to perform this such a performance when she learned much about it. Even though Trixie told her about some of this, her what inspired her to be a performance mayor for all those years. Even though that Crystal is then walked up and suddenly transform herself into into Trixie and acting like she's her, like mimicking her, or not as an, not as a, to be offending her, but trying to make her laugh or something. But that actually did manage to laugh, make Trixie laugh. She actually fell off the bench on her on her back laughing. It's she can actually she actually laughed at herself. And uh, with Trix Chrysalis, she saw that as a good positive way. And even after that brief moment of found of happiness of her or at least joy, they found a common ground. They want to make others happy, laugh. So Chrysalis suggested that maybe they, they, they could join forces, or at least common ground to help others to be happy. Maybe that trick Chrysalis couldn't maybe be part of Mad Trixie's performance. Maybe that she can transform herself to a rabbit or something that she would transform into a rabbit and when she in a hat and the rabbit would transform into a bird and flying off. The Trixie actually liked the idea, so she agreed. They decided to go to Maid Hatton for the next couple of days to see this performance. But before then, they did a lot of practice. And this practicing between took them about two three days and they actually bonded over that and they made them closer. But when they came back home from Maid Hatta, something was different. Even Starlight didn't notice that because when Trixie and Chrysalis were talking, laughing, and, and they even hugged each other. And it turned out during the stay in Maid Hatton for those couple of days, Trixie had opened up that she was actually Luke was single and that she was feel lonely herself when she suggested maybe that Trixie and Chrysalis was gonna could go on a date, maybe just for dinner to see if there was any spark between them for just to see if it was making it work. And after the first single dinner date, it was the right thing that Trixie was looking for. Chrysalis was actually the some point that she wanted to be with. She is honey, she is good in magic, especially in shape shifting, and that was a great part from her performance. Ever since that date, they have been dating. When the rest of the friends were told, they were actually amazed all about this. Especially Twilight. She was just really both excited and happy for that Chrysalis had found some point to be with. But there were some parts in their relationship that Trixie were worried about. She didn't know exactly if this this relationship would be long term because, despite that, that Crystalis was working in Ponyville as a teacher at the Friendship School of Friendship, and that Trixie were sometimes most on her ways on traveling to performance. And that trick Crystal sometimes couldn't even go with her. But that was something that they both worked it out. Because 
Sometimes even Twilight were allowing to Crystal to take time off from the school so that she can help with Trixie with her performance. And it went perfectly. They made the managed to figure out a way for both of them to to make this work. Even despite after all this happening though, there were a lot of feelings towards Trixie and Chrysalis at the first didn't have an idea of that. Since most of their friends were really happy for them both had been together. But it was one thing. Because one day when Trixie was outside town for to do some more practicing, she was near the Everfree Forest when suddenly, by random accident, one of her one of her performance items actually flew into the forest by accident. And she went inside to look for it. She thought maybe it was landing maybe as close to, to the edge of the forest near but but since the fort was stark and was untamed by any creature, she looked for this particular item for almost perhaps like 20 minutes or so. But she couldn't find it. But as she was about to almost give up hope of finding it, she heard a sound. Not a bird sound. It was a growling. And that was the sound she immediately were like recognized. A timber wolf. But this one was even far away. It was close. She turned around. It was just standing six feet from her. But it was not alone. She was completely surrounded by at least six timber wolves. She screamed of terror, of horrified, seeing those timber wolves surrounding her. She was cut off. She couldn't even escape. She was literally trying to try to protect herself by doing some, trying to do perform this shield barrier around her, which she had learned from Twilight and Starlight. It managed to protect her at least for a while. At least when Rainbow, by random accident, by just random chance, flying above this, actually noticed that Trixie was alone and surrounded by team people. She was terrified of what happened, and before she could do anything, she flew as fast as she could back to Ponymill, telling her friends, especially Trixie, that Twilight in Chrysalis, who was in the library, she small talk, when they had hearing Rainbow swearing, was running through the door and into the library, screaming that they need to come fast. Trixie is in danger. Both of them were asking about the questions, but Rainbow said, there's no time. She didn't manage to blend into every forest. At that point, they both know something was up. So both of them actually teleported with along with Rainbow. As they were teleported, they were outside the forest. They can hear the Timberwolves screams, growling, yelling in the forest. And then they heard Trixie. And then they heard another sound. Crashing sound. The shield that Trixie was performing broke. She had lost her concentration to be maintain the focus on this shield. And this growling sound was getting closer to her. And that the, if it wasn't for right that moment, Starlight, uh, Trix, Chrysalis, ran into the forest and transformed herself to his Ursa Major and attacked the team the walls. Smashed into pieces, and after that, at least five of them was destroyed. Only one just looked at her and actually started whimpering and ran away with her tails behind his leg. And Chrysalis transformed back to her original self and walked up to Crystal to Trixie and asked her if she was okay. Luckily enough, the, the team of wolves had even heard Trixie. It was close enough that it could have, but she was terrified. More and more horrified that they were so close to being even tearing apart. But if thanks to Christmas, she saved her from being hurt. So she then they took her back to the Kinto Ponyville to the castle where she can rest it. Concentrating from that spell in much focus in a way from that sort of preventing the timber from attacking her. Took a lot of magic concentration for her, took a lot of energy. 
After a whole night of resting, Trixie was back to health. She was full rested and she thanked Chrysalis for helping her, saving her from this terrible accident that happened. They even, she even asked, how did she realize she know what she was in trouble? Chrysalis told the rainbow saw her in the forest, but she couldn't even do it herself, so she fly back as fast back to Ponyville to gather her and Twilight so that they can help. After that moment, Trixie realized Chrysalis was the pony she really was want meant to be with. And just barely three years later, Chrysalis actually with Twilight's help managed to find the right ring and even so that Trixie, that Chrysalis could actually form a proposal to Trixie. Chrysalis was really happy that she managed to perform to acting of his proposal to Trixie. And when she said this, Trixie didn't say no at all. She in fact said yes. She in fact started crying when Trixie Chrysalis performed this, this unique performance of proposal to her. But nevertheless, Trixie was really happy though. Because just after only a few months later, when they had his wedding, Trixie and Chrysalis could have been happier to be getting married on their big day. And as a gift from Twilight, she actually gave them a promise so that they would arrange, she had arranged for them to celebrate their honeymoon on a tropical island for a whole week. And that was something both of them really excited to looking forward to. And especially though, they were really happy to be, in, to be married to someone that they loved the most. And just four years later, when they came, four years later, Chrysalis and Trixie had been learned, had been talking about starting a family. And in fact, they managed to, with some tribe, some help on from Twilight, they actually got that Chrysalis decided to be pregnant first. And in fact, she became, and they actually learned that they was going to have a boy. And then the day came when the son was born. They named the son Mentis Magic. Like his mother, like his mom, Chrysalis, he had inherited his ability to shapeshift to anything. And even with his, from his mom, Trixie, he had been, been quite talented in magic. And both of them actually teach him how to be able to transform this, especially his mom, Chrysalis, how to teach him about shapeshifting. Because she wanted to be him so that he can be able to control it. Because when he was young, he actually saved the entire town, or at least of his couple of friends was just outside town playing with this random Timberwolf had just left the everyday forest by some strange unknown reason and was about to attack them when he transformed into an Urza Major and screaming at the Timberwolf, which looked at him terrified and turned around and ran a fast back to the forest and never to be seen again. From that moment, his friends were grateful to have him there and they even called him the great changeling hero. But there was something else that he wanted to be doing in his life. Because ever since he was young, he watched all his performance by his mom Trixie. Even sometimes even joined her on the different points that you made had in front of him and even can't at all do it. It even helped her to do some performance. That has sparked a passion that he wanted to do something similar. And he wanted to be a fan of magical performance like his mother. So, when he was still young, he practiced even with his mom and with Trixie, with both Chrysalis and Trixie, so that he can actually be better on his performance. And even though one day when Trixie announced she is going to retire, Mantis Magic decided to 
take the role as the performance in the family, and his mother was really proud that he take the mantle, the role as the performance. After all, since he was young, he loved the performance, and he even performed it himself to some, to his friends and family, and even his own talent show. And he was great at it. And he was good at it. And that sparked he wanted to be a performance ever since that, since that young age. And he managed to. And from his reputation from his mom, Trixie, he had gained a lot of gained a lot of attention and even good reputation from his own performance. And even during one media led one's performance in Manhattan, he had fallen in love with a tri with a mayor from who was also an artist. They actually got married after they had been dating for about four years. And they even had two sons and two daughters together. Four years later, Trixie decided to be pregnant this time, and she actually gave birth to a daughter which they named the K Blossom. The K Blossom was like her mother. She was really quite talented magic. Even though the twill, even she became a student to Twilight for some time to be able to train some more, some more spells, and she was really happy to be able to perform that. But there was something else that she was even good at. She was actually good in singing. She wanted even to be a singer or at least a, in, use a singing teacher when she was growing up. She was really quite talented in singing also, even since a Philly. Sometimes she even performed in a local talent show, even school talent show. It that from moment this sparked her interest to, to be a singing teacher instead of a singer. She actually saw like Colachora and as her role as the role model to be a singer, or at least as being a singing teacher. When she was old enough, around twenty-two, she actually had opened her own school in Ponyville. When she decided to do some classes and training about teaching about how to be a good in singing. That actually gave a lot of reputation around in Poloville and she got a lot of students. Her performance and her, her ways of teaching was actually good, got a good receiving in from both public and even the local newspapers, calling her the singing changeling. Even though despite she was more appearance as a pony, but still she was half changeling and half pony. Like as her brother, she was actually even good at magic and even sometimes even helped to perform sometimes when he was in town. But she loved the singing, and that was her great passion. After she had opened her own school to perform singing classes, she had fulfilled her own childhood dream. And at some point, she even had fallen in love with a stallion from Polonia. And they even got married after they had been dating for about three years. And they actually had two daughters and one son together. And from that moment, she was really happy to be with some pony to like her. And even for Crystalis and Trixie, if Crystalis hadn't even been telling, or at least ask, Tricks out when they were in Manhattan. It would have been a little bit different because then she wouldn't have find out about her true love to be, to be Trixie, and that she would miss out so much joy. And if that Trixie had even been to Manhattan with Christmas or in at least invited her, she would never have found about her true love, and she would have still been much lonely even then. But that meant they were even really meant to be. Me. To find and even fell in love. Both Trixie and Chrysalis were actually very happy that they did meet and that they end up getting in love in married. And this is how Chrysalis and Trixie Luna Moon are the big, are the true love and got a big family together. The